You have obviously just now clicked on this video because of the curiosity of what it would be like to walk a day in my shoes. Well, keep your eyes fixated on the screen. I like to start my morning by walking over to my window and unleashing the sun into my room to admire the beautiful view that I've been blessed with and try not to knock anything over. But if I do, I advise you, nothing really phases me. Because either way, it's a quick fix to me. Just pick it up. Don't be lazy. Although it is known that lazy people tend to be more wise than the rest of the population. Like myself, you learn new ways to get things done in a short amount of time. Anyways, I'll spend about 15 minutes looking at myself, admiring my beauty and the fact that I don't really need any cosmetics to enhance the fact that I am beautiful. In fact, I remember the things that I've absorbed from the internet. And that makeup is actually the root of the problem, but that's a discussion for another day. Once I'm finally satisfied and have convinced myself that I don't need any cosmetics, I will continue on with my day. But I really hope you didn't think that it would stop there, because I have worked so very hard for the body that I have accomplished. I mean, 50% genetics, but also I'm a dancer, and I make sure that I am keeping myself fit and healthy. Once I'm done staring at the body I've obtained, it's time to move on. I begin parading around the house that I so-called live in, hoping to not run into anything or anybody on this filthy floor that my mother f refuses to clean, and I enter the room where she sleeps. If she is lying there in the bed asleep, I will in fact not awaken her or disturb her or the baby that lies beside her. It would be a grave mistake to awaken that baby from his sleep. So instead, I say my highs and I leave the room. So usually when I wake up this late and my mother is not awake to take me out in my own car, I like to spend some time with the only animal that I've ever had a special connection with. I feel like her and I have the most similar personalities in this house. So I'll take her on a walk, but I'll leave her shitty mother behind, which is the black dog laying on the couch. Which you may ask, whoa, why is she a shitty mother? I'll just tell you, she killed three of her kids. She was a terrible mother, and it's such a shame that her and my mother have such similar personalities. I mean, my own mother defends that dog to me. But anywho, after I've walked my dog, I'll enter the bathroom to start my hygiene routine, which in fact is one of the most important parts of my day in my mind. So here I am tying up my hair into a slick bun. As you can see, I will take my beautiful blue toothbrush and apply some toothpaste to the bristles. Unlike others, I have a uniqueness to me that lies in the deep depths of my gum, and that is a tooth. Tooth. As I continue to brush my teeth, I think about what I was doing the night before. But I snap back into this precious moment and brush my tongue because my sister advised me of this crucial information when I was just 11 years old. Now I will grab this detoxing, blemish fixing formula and apply this to my face in hopes that it will clear any redness that is left on my face. By the way, I make sure to get the best of the best. As you can see, this forms into a foam on my face and clears everything. Does your detox do that? I didn't think so. Now that it has foamed up all the way and is white on my skin, I am going to rinse this off of my amazing, gorgeous, beautiful face. I'll walk over to the two towels on the rack and use the pink one to dry off my face. And after this, I'll debate on taking a shower, even though I don't take showers ever in the morning. But who am I kidding? It's three in the afternoon. So I did take a shower and now that I'm a hairless kitten, I am going to apply my Old Spice deodorant and no, it's not just for men, it's unisex. The smell is just so tropical and you can smell it from a mile away, so why not? Like I said, hygiene is the most important thing to me, so. Also, as I said, I have so many unique things about me, and that includes having a compromised immune system that causes eczema. So here I am applying my eczema cream to my underarm. Just another fun fact, whenever I head to the beach or anything with salt water and not chlorinated, I end up breaking out with hives, meaning I have a compromised immune system. I have only met a few people in my lifetime that are like this. But I believe it gets worse in hot temperatures and under stress, so please do not stress me out. Now, I'm going to pull down my hair and take out my nice pink silky elastic and wow, I am a 10 out of 10 with my hair down. The serotonin and dopamine boost that I get when I take down my hair is just unmatched. But now, I'm going to brush out these beautiful locks. I also love seeing the color of my hair. It is just such a pretty brunette with a tinge of red highlights, as I've been told by many of my 6th grade classmates. 
Now that I have finished brushing out my beautiful long hair that is still growing, I will take my baby brother's toy brush, I like to think, and I'm going to massage my scalp with this. So yes, I do do hair care. I do care about my hair to the fullest extent because massaging the scalp can create immense hair growth. If you didn't know, now you know. I will massage every point of my hair and head making sure that I do not miss any spot. And you will not go and brush your hair after this because now your head is fragile. So now it is about 4.25 in the afternoon. Usually my days would be at about 11 a.m., but today I let myself sleep in. I'm going to now re-tie my hair back into a low ponytail and get dressed for what would be ballet if the studio was actually as good as they advertised. But because they are not and they have so many lazy workers who don't want to clock in to a dance studio, it's like, why have you wasted all your life dancing if you don't want to fucking teach it? I have now just slipped myself into a nice lavender bodysuit, which I am going to use my own techniques and work out on my own until I find another studio worthy of my payment every month. I'll sit here for about a minute debating whether I should wear the cat earphones or my just natural AirPods. But then eventually realize that I cannot find my AirPods and I'm going to have to stick to these humongous headphones that are going to delay my workout. And then I'm on my way out. Stay. I gotta stay. Yes, that's probably what I'm listening to right now. Other than that, I like to work out to a lot of classical music, like I'm taking a ballet class. And yes, my brother just interrupted me, asking me where the black leash was. Like, why can't he fucking find it himself? Why do I have to tell him where the fuck it is when it's exactly visible to his eyes on the couch? So, because my mom has my car, I have to find a place in this house that I live in to work out because I cannot drive to the gym. But if you caught my drift a couple minutes before this, you would know that I said my mother refuses to clean the filthy floor. So here I am, cleaning it for my own special needs. More personal needs. Because actually, I probably would not be cleaning the floor if it had nothing to do with me. But also, why did I find a blue toothbrush on the floor? This is what I'm talking about, this baby being absurd. Also, please stop staring at my butt, okay? I know I have a panty line. But then what would you think of me if I were wearing no panties? Exactly. Also, I found a red party cup behind the dresser. What are we, fucking high schoolers? I only hydrate through thick, expensive glass or prime water bottles. Also, I just love finding pieces of the cap of my perfume that the baby refuses to not destroy. Now, as you can see, I am only going to vacuum for a split second to clean up the debris that is left on the floor after sweeping it all up and applying it into the trash can. Sorry, not applying, but disposing of it. And also, sometimes I just like to imagine that the vacuum cleaner is a chainsaw. I don't know why, it just comes to my mind. Also, I am pointing at my feet now because we do not wear socks when we are doing stretches. I know this information from the 15 years of dance experience that I have and counting of course, but by now I'm listening to my classical piano music Claire de Lune, Nocturnal, whatever the hell you call it and I am doing some basic stretches here for your view Trust me, this is the least of what I do, especially when I'm in the studio as you can see, this is why I'm so very flexible, but then my brother had the nerve to ask me what I was doing as if it isn't obvious Sometimes I don't. I despise the ignorance that I live with. Uh, maybe I could come to an agreement. I mean, I did look pretty ridiculous with those headphones on and this color bodysuit. I'm doing all my leg stretching, which is the most satisfying feeling after. Not the back, though. I think I injured myself. Also, I think I've been sleeping the wrong way as well, and now my neck is strained. But now I can do about a thousand crutches, and that is what I'm going to do here. Raising my knees, straightening my knees next, and repeating the process in reverse. I love to see you guys do this. These are called ballet sit-ups, where I beat my feet up and down. It creates a lot of uh, work for the lower abs, let me just say that. And I don't really know what I'm doing here because I never do this workout, so. Oh, and these, you gotta love these after raising from your elbows to your hands in a push-up position, right? 
But I can hear it raining outside now, and I cannot help myself. I love the rain. Why do you think I live in Florida? I'll head back inside, and now I'm really going to beat my face. I obviously need a very much needed drink of water, so... Yes, I'm going to sip this out of the gallon. If you say you don't do that, you're a liar, okay? And now we shall start the process of forming into my true self. Here, I'm very hot, as you can tell. It may or may not be the bodysuit, but it is currently 440. Here is the bottle that I said that my baby messed with. Also, just a thought, do these colors even look similar? Because they are. Now I'm applying one dot of the concealer because a little goes a long way. I'm also using this shadow palette to create this brown crease in my on my eyelid, then a shimmer. Then I'm going to use this angled brush to apply the black on the line. Okay, this is going to create a great outline on my eyes without using liquid liner. Now I'm using the concealer, the best product to ever exist, to conceal my under eyes and a little bit of my forehead. Also, I'm using the telescopic to create my eyes. I could stop here, honestly, but I'm not going to. I actually could have just stopped at mascara, but now I'm using a buttery lip mask. This is the best thing that you can use for your lips, even though I have my worries that it might dry out my lips. And here's my bag, but you know what I have in here? Instead of my makeup. I've been wanting to use this on a certain person or a couple people, but just haven't got to it yet. Now I'm playing the blush with my fingers because I could not find my blush brush. Unfortunately, my baby probably screwed that up. Now I'm applying highlighter. I always wonder what it would be like to sharpen my finger for some reason. Um, but now that the pencil has been sharpened, I'm applying it to my lips. I carefully overline and I use this baby pink liquid lipstick that I absolutely adore and now I'm set and now I'm going to use the perfume because of my hard work of finding the cap now I can apply it even though it takes so many fucking pumps since it's jammed and it was gifted to me by my grandmother on my dad's side and now you think that I'm done but I am going to be changing out of this outfit from an outfit that I had set up the previous night because I'm that good and I have to just wait for my mom now, unfortunately. So just as I was about to get undressed, I received a call from my father. Hey, Baba. Oh, hey, beautiful. <laughs> hey. Thank you. So I spoke to my father for a good 10 minutes while he's in Miami, the best place to ever be in. But now it's time to get into the real outfit of the day, the most comfortable outfit of the day, while I wait for my slow ass mother. So here is what I would like to call the comfy fit. It consists of thigh high socks and a nice baggy shirt with a gotcha freaking I forgot what they're called. So the baby's oh wait i'm talking about a garter here isn't that what the man is supposed to take off maybe that's why i'm making that face One anyways second, the baby's this. crying now and this is the part that i despise most it's like please mom just get back i can't take care i didn't sign up to be a mom this early to a child that's not even mine i mean i absolutely admire him though he is my baby brother and i love him and he's like one of my best friends too but if you can't tell what i'm doing here i am pacing around Desperately looking for the baby's bottle, the baby's which I bottle? cannot find it anywhere. This idiot fucking ignores me when I ask him where the fuck it is. So I just walk out that bitch, excuse my language, call him crazy because he doesn't pay attention. And now I'm about at my wit's end with this shit. You're a fucking ugly bitch. I want to stab you to death and play with your blood. Fucking ugly bitch. I want to stab you to death and then play around with your blood. By the end of the night, I'm doing the things that I think about while I'm brushing my teeth. First, I'm going to change into this nice black jumpsuit so I can conceal my figure in the midnight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Follow me along as I take you into the deep, dark night. As if I were Batman, but actually, I'm just his wife. And by wife, I mean Catwoman. He was, She was his wife, right? I don't know. I don't know what the hell she was. But I'm going to take you through this nice, dark hallway. Don't worry. It's all safe. Not really, if you're with me. Just be quiet, okay? Let me let me steer the wheel. See, this is my most favorite part. It's the fact that everybody is asleep in their homes and they don't even know that me, that I, am outside. I love being a snake. Good night.